So I messed up the first version of this uh, because I didn't have enough light on my thermometer. Um, this is the um, a cloud in the bottle experiment but I have a few extra details. I have a thermometer, I have a probe going into the bottle to measure the temperature and there's a little bit of water, there's about a teaspoon, yeah, maybe two, three teaspoons of water in there. So uh, light a match, then run down a little, blow it out, smoke into the bottle. So there's smoke in the bottle and that makes, it's called condensation nuclei. And then um, it goes on the bottle. I hope I have enough smoke now this time. And the reason I am, so we can see the smoke in the bottle, we can still see it. Every time you increase the pressure like this, uh, you're getting. Uh, so here we go. Now we have the little cloud in the bottle. So what's happened is that water vapor has condensed onto the smoke, and so you see a little droplets of water vapor. When you compress it, the uh, smoke disappears. Now the thing. So, I want you to look at it, it's the thermometer. So, compress it, smoke disappears, pressure goes up, and temperature rises. Decompress it, sorry, just got to twist it around. Temperature goes down, and uh, the um, uh, water vapor converts to um, the droplets again. So I'll do it again, pressure up, temperature up a few degrees, and the cloud disappears. Uh, sorry about that. So cloud back, cloud gone away, temperature goes up. So the, uh, this is about the biotic pump theory because there is a dispute over whether clouds cause high or low pressure and there's a big city in Brazil at the moment and there's about I don't know 20 million people 10 or 20 million people are short of water because the atmospheric scientists are arguing about this but there you go very clear high pressure the uh, uh, water vapor is there lower the pressure heat goes down and um, the condensation happens on the condensation nuclei. Anyway, I'll leave it like that and add a few. Hopefully this is working this time.